The start dot feature adds a large dot at the point where the first stroke of each letter begins. Make sure the text box is active with black squares at the corners and sides. Click anywhere on the text box if you need to activate it. To turn on the start dots, press the start dot button which is the uppercase A with the large red dot on top. The start dots show the student where to begin each letter. To change the color of the start dots, click the down arrow to the right of the start dot button, then click the down arrow to the right of the color box. Next, click on the color you'd like. Let's select blue. Then click OK at the bottom of the color palette window. You will see in the example area what the start dots will look like. You can also set this color as the default for each new text box in the same font by clicking Set as Default. Next, click OK to return to the text box and the start dots have been changed to blue. The start dots can be used in combination with many other features in StartRight that I'll show you. I hope you enjoy the new StartRight version 6.